Where's the sodas? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Orms TV. Today we'll be checking out some awesome camera rumors from the likes of Canon, Sony, and GoPro. So let's get into the first one, and it's gonna be the Hero 9. Ah! <laughs> As we know, GoPro always launches new cameras at the end of the year, and look at it, we're already in September. As we can see from the leaked images online, we can confirm a couple of things. Obviously, it's going to be called the Hero 9, and it shoots in 5K at 30 frames per second. Now, something that I'm quite excited about is the new Hypersmooth. It's jumping from version 2 to 3. 2 already for me was quite a big improvement. So let's see what they do with version 3. Personally, I believe they probably won't put that on the 5K setting and it will probably be more on the 4K resolution, but we'll have to wait and see for the official announcement. Next up, it's going to be the battery life. It's a huge improvement, 40% improvement on the battery life, which as we know, GoPro cameras are super power hungry. They kind of copied DJI with the front facing screen, which is a great feature, especially for the vloggers and the YouTubers out there. The other great feature they've bumped up is the photo resolution. It's jumping from 12 to 20. Something that GoPro struggles with when printing larger images is losing definition and bumping up the megapixel to 20 is definitely going to help for the guys doing some prints here and there. So that was GoPro. Let's jump into the next one. It's going to be DJI and Sony. All right, guys. So as <laughs> Okay, guys, next up is going to be from DJI. And as we know, the Ronin S has been a top seller in the gimbal game, but it's due for an update. So we've seen some leaked images online regarding the new Ronin S2. What we can rely from this image is carbon fiber arms and this is interesting because this will increase the payload of the device. Hopefully it will be anything above three kilograms to compete with the Crane 3. Other things we can spot from the images is new locking mechanism. So that's very easy to balance, especially if it's a bigger payload. The other accessory that I've noticed on these images as well is the new third arm. Again, it's kind of throwing a punch at the Crane 3. Hopefully they've improved the battery life as well maybe some tweaks here and there in the software bringing some some of the software updates that they had on the sc over to the s2 but let's wait for the official release on that one <laughs> <laughs> all right guys next up is going to be from sony and as you know the a7s3 has already been launched and if you want to check out the full review that we've done on it there will be a link at the bottom sony has announced a concept event and by the time we'll be watching this video it actually might already been announced. So what it is, is something quite revolutionary. It's gonna be a full frame camera, but in the crop sensor body. So if you think of an A6500 or A6400, but with a full frame sensor. Now the other great features around this camera is gonna be a front flippy screen. So this is definitely something they're aiming at the more cost effective vlogging style camera, but with awesome photography capabilities because it's gonna have the same sensor as the A7 III. Yes, that means it's gonna have 24 megapixels and shoot 4K 30. Now this is gonna be a great tool if you want something that's good for video and photo, but in a much smaller body. Maybe we're right, maybe we're wrong. Let us know in the comments what happened. Blank. <laughs> Okay guys, next is gonna be Canon. Now Canon has officially made a press release available on the 24th and 25th of September. Now this event will cover a whole bunch of Canon products, but first up it's gonna be something from their cinema line. So it's gonna be the Canon C70. Now this is actually the first time Canon has made a product like this. It's something that's gonna be above something like the R5, but it's gonna be under the C700, C500 range. So if you look at the images available online, you'll actually see it looks quite similar to something like a black magic camera or something like a red. Now this is obviously aimed at the more cinema guys, but there's no confirmed specs available yet. We'll have to wait for the event to see more about it. Another amazing release from Canon is gonna be from their mirrorless R range. Now we just saw the launch of the R6 and the R5, but we're already getting a new model. Now this is something aimed more at the photography guys, but it's gonna be above the R5. So this is rumored to have a 90 megapixel resolution sensor. So this is great for the landscape guys and the studio guys out there. My guess is that the video specs on this is gonna be down and the processor is going to be purely there to process those high resolution photo files. There's no other confirmed specs on this yet so we'll just have to wait for the Canon My Vision event that's going to be happening on the 24th and the 25th. <laughs> So next up is going to be an interesting release and I think it's a long awaited release. The Canon M50 has been going strong and in actual fact it's still going strong but it needs a lot of updates. 
So the rumored camera is going to be the M70. Now, the specs is not 100% confirmed, but generally when it starts leaking out on those Canon rumor sites, you can kind of rely on them. It's gonna be 32 megapixels. It's gonna have IBIS in the body. It's gonna shoot 12 frames per second stills. On the video side of things, it's gonna have 4K 60 frames. Now the exciting part of this is that it's gonna have C-Log. Now this is actually the first time C-Log is brought down to the more sort of consumer entry level models. We'll have to wait and see on the price because the price might dictate that as well. But I'm exciting to see that Canon is bringing down C-Log to the more standardized consumer models as well. Canon M70, I think it'll be quite a hot little item. Hit the subscribe button because we've got two secret cameras that's going to... <laughs> Guys, let us know in the comments below if there's anything that we missed. Maybe we didn't read all the articles that you did, but please hit that subscribe button because we've got two secret cameras to review very soon. And the only way you'll know is when you subscribe. Hope to see you soon.